And now, as you can see, we've got about 1,300 mockups right here being generated and look how fast it is. It's absolutely crazy. My designs has always been the fastest and most efficient way that I know to generate mockups in bulk. However, they just updated their mockup system to make it 10 times faster. So that means with the free plans, for example, instead of generating 24 mockups at once, you can now generate 240 mockups at once. And with the pro plans, you can literally create thousands of mock-ups within a matter of just a few minutes. So let's jump into my designs so I can show you this updated mock-up generator. If you're completely new to my designs, the first thing you'll need to do is click the link at the top of the description where you can sign up to my designs for free on this home page right here. Just click on the blue button, enter your email address and name, and you'll be ready to go. Once you've logged into your my designs account, the first thing you'll need to do is create a collection or a folder in a sense. And you do that by heading to the listings tab and click on this home button up here and they can easily add a new folder you just have to give it a name and then you can click add new folder down here once you've done that select the folder from your drop down and hit open folder down here for you it will be empty to begin with but you can upload designs in bulk as well by clicking on upload right here choosing the first upload option and then dragging and dropping your designs into here you can do it with up to 2,000 designs I think that's the maximum you can put into one collection and once you've dropped them all in, just click on upload all and wait for them to be imported into my designs. In case you're wondering why your folder looks a bit different to mine, there's actually a button up here where you can switch the view and this way you can see your designs and your file slots a bit more easily. Now the first step to creating these mockups in bulk is actually editing our template because we need a lot of empty file slots to save these mockups into. So if you click on the template button up here, you will see down here I've got a ton of different file slots prepared and you can add these file slots over here by just typing in a name like mockup 12 for example and creating that slot we need a total of 10 empty slots to create as many mockups as possible and you can also if you've already got some slots right here in your template you can also click into these and rename the slot if you so wish just click update slot to change the name and once you're done click on save up here I'm just going to make a change to this one so we see the difference you have to click on save on the screen button and then click update template for it to be applied to all of your listings or all of your designs right here you've got all these empty slots as you can see so now we need to head up to this button in the top left corner select all of our designs right here so i've got 120 selected and then you want to open the mock-up generator so click on mock-ups choose image mock-ups and you will be met with the mock-up generator of my designs, which if you're already using this tool, you will be familiar with this, but it has slightly changed. So now you actually need to select the mock-ups up here with these little check boxes. So let's go ahead and select 10. So you can choose different product types. You can choose different categories as well. So you could change this from clothing to wall art to stickers, digital, uh, various different categories. But I'm just going to go ahead and use 10 random products right here. And as you can see, we get this stack of mockups in the top right corner now. You can choose a maximum of 10. So if I go ahead and select another one, then this generate mockups button gets grayed out. So only 10 will work. And for each one of these, what you can also do is you can, first of all, change the output slot, but you don't have to because we've already pre-configured 10 mockup output slots. You can change the file type, which is JPEG by default, which I would recommend you use. And you can change the color. So you could have one in black, you could have the next next mock-up in white you could have gray ones you know depending on what you want to sell you can adjust the colors right here for each mock-up you can also generate a preview for each one and this takes a minute but you can go through and edit the other mock-ups while the preview is generating as well and once you're done selecting everything then all you have to do is click generate mock-ups over here then you will get a confirmation box pop-up then click generate mock-ups again and now, as you can see, we've got about 1,300 mockups right here being generated and look how fast it is. It's absolutely crazy. This usually only takes a couple of minutes, obviously depending on how many processes you have running. A few minutes later. So here we go, it's all done. And now you can double click onto any of these mockup slots to instantly reveal all of your mockups that have been created and double check that they look okay. And once you're ready to download them, make sure everything is selected, head over to actions and then click download and as a zip right here where you can then select all of these slots in one go and download them as a zip 
at once, which is once again, super handy. So yeah, I hope that saves you a massive amount of time. This is absolutely super easy, very effective way to generate mockups for various different products very, very quickly. And they're actually still going to improve this in future where you can just save a template. So you don't have to always go in and select different mockups and find them for the various products. You can actually just save a template, um, even for the color profiles and everything. You just load the template, hit generate mockups and you're done. So this is the first stage to them massively improving the speed of generating mockups and it's already absolutely mind blowing. So I can't wait to see what's still to come in the future. Um, if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And yeah, I hope you have fun using this mockup generator. If you want to learn about some more ways to save a lot of time with my designs, then make sure to check out this video next where I go over seven tips to make your print on demand life easier.